Grand Rising, guys. So today is the day that I have a new physical identity. Today's the day that I cut my hair. Coolie step back, your thing now got shot. If you don't do it this way, you can't do that. No cap, real rap. So them said to me, me I grow my crap. I'ma not take back my chat. Them no know. Me reaping on my soul. Them no know. Them know. And them help me for grow. All the negativity, it cannot come. Yes, I'm cutting all of these off. And I'm starting from scratch. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be like, holy what? Why? Why would you do that? It's more spiritual than anything else. I mean, there's some physical reasons, but I don't even care about those reasons because if it was for those physical reasons, I would have been cut them. You understand? So it's more spiritual than anything. But um it's now about 6 10 a.m. And I wanted to, I don't know, something just told me, like, you know, do a vlog, have a memory of this day. Um, and it's very special because today is January 30th. And today would have been my mommy's earth strong. Well, now I say her heaven strong because she's with the Lord. So this day is very sensitive and huge and pick for me so i'm making a big change on today um on a very significant day and if i tell y'all like the spiritual newness that i feel already is god is so good so i'm taking you guys alongside of me today and um i hope you enjoy i love you to go to the gym to see if it's open because sometimes it just don't be open if it is i'm not gonna do nothing major just gonna do some walking uh talking with god if it's not we're gonna probably go to the park and uh walk outdoors which i would prefer that one anyway but let's go is open somebody's running so i guess although i would have loved to have gone to the park and walk i mean i still can but i'm gonna get some treadmill serious walking going on
so I did about 17 minutes walking um, on the treadmill with about five minutes of a little jogging and then I did some stretches. Now I'm going to probably go to the pool side if it's open. Let's see, because this pool they've been doing construction on. So for those of you that don't know, even with my own business, having clients and things like that, all my days every day is literally a Holy Spirit filled and led day, right? So I go by the leading of the Holy Spirit. This is normally part of my routine. So every day the Holy Spirit leads me to at some point get that word in, right? So we're about to go to the poolside and spend some time with God, okay? Say what you wanna say to me now Okay, hold on y'all like i had to pause and give y'all some insight of, of what holy spirit is leading me to share with y'all okay okay so we in exodus 30 chapter 14 right everyone that passeth among them that are numbered from 20 years old and above shall give an offering unto the lord the rich shall not give more and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel when they give an offering unto the lord to make an atonement for your souls now i don't know about you <laughs> But God was not given no type of leeway, whether you poor, whether you rich, okay? And this is so they can make atonement for their souls. Guys, we don't have to do that today. You understand? If we had to do that today, a lot of people, men or no, because nowadays in this generation, people are lazy, number one. People don't have a sound consciousness, right? And they don't move by it. So if we had to go by this every day, people's souls wouldn't be atoned for. People's souls wouldn't be cleansed and saved and, you know? So guys, I just want to like bring that to you. Nowadays, we literally don't have to do much. We don't have to do like, if you read Exodus, you will see that, yo, they had to do like so much extraness just to be saved, just to, you know, save their soul, just to purify and, and sanctify themselves. And nowadays, all you have to do is accept Jesus, believe in him, believe what he did for you, and live a life according to the fruits of the spirit. That's all you have to do. My God, it's crazy. We, we got to do better out here. I'm telling you because we out here spoil, okay? God got his children spoil out here. We don't got to do all this stuff. Light incense, build a tabernacle kill animals get the blood and use the blood to to purify and we don't gotta do any of the any of these things anymore except jesus okay it's about 8 30 a.m man god is so good the word that he blessed me with is so amazing and people will read exodus and just be like god was overdoing it telling all the details of the tabernacle and how many lengths and cubits and how many rings and what had to be but whew, there's purpose in the detail i'm telling you i'm telling you <laughs> but anywho i'm about to go walk my boys real quick before i actually start finishing up my finishing out my day like it's still early in the rising let's go Thank you, Lord, for you. you are so good, God. Hallelujah. I thank you, God. I thank you,
I wanted to include you guys on this because the world we live in, people just show you their highlights. People just show you their good times. People want to make it seem like they don't have hard times. So I wanted to show you because I know a lot of you look at me like I'm strong. And I am. I have the strength of the Lord in me. But I am also grief. I'm in grief. I'm in pain. My heart is broken. My heart would never be the same. My heart would never be the same. And I just want to show you that even when you're broken, God can use you. He can use you, but you have to allow him to use you. You have to allow him to use you in your brokenness because he can change that. He can use it and he can change it, but you have to allow it, allow it, allow it. I miss my mom so much. I miss her so much, and I miss her so much. But my life will never be the same. But all things, all things, all things, including this, including my mommy not being here in the flesh, all things work together for my good. So her leaving is for my good. You hear me? Because I love God. And I am called. And I answered the call. I am called according to his purpose. I am called according to his purpose. So this have purpose. This have purpose. Hallelujah. And I just want to let you know. If you have lost someone and it has broken your heart, I want you to know that it is for your good. It is for your good. You won't be able to comprehend it, some of you. You won't be able to comprehend it, but I'm here to let you know nothing more, nothing less than it is for your good. There is a purpose. There is a purpose. There is a purpose. You have to open your eyes. Open your eyes to what it is that God needs you to see from within about yourself. Open your eyes to who it is God needs you to be here on this earth. You're still here because you still have something to do. Someone to impact. You have things to do here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's for your good. And it's for your good. Like I was saying, a lot of people like to show their good times, their highlights. You see me? I'm going to show you the real. I'm going to be as real and transparent with you. People need to see realness of life, not fake of life. The fakeness of life, that part of me is over. It died when I got up on that river. It died. I'm not trying to be fake with y'all. I'm trying to show y'all the realness of life. And even in mourning and even in grief, you can make it. Because God, God is a just God and he's a faithful God and he's a merciful God and he's a graceful God and he will finish exactly what he started. He didn't take your loved one. He didn't take people from you or out of your life for no reason, for no purpose. Beloved, open your eyes, your spiritual eyes. There is a purpose. And if you're still here to feel such grief, to feel such mourn, to yell and scream out to God, if you're still here to do that, that purpose has so much to do with you. And you have to see it. You have to open your eyes and see it. Hallelujah. My life will never be the same. But guess what? It will never be the same in a good way. It will never be the same in a great way. Even though I'm broken right now. Even though I'm still allowing God to mend the pieces of my heart. Even though I'm still in pain and disbelief. And sometimes confusion, right? But then that confusion comes from my flesh. And then when I tap into spirit and I see from the spiritual eyes. Along with the truth that God has given to me. God has spoken, placed truth in my heart about my my mom dying when she died so when i cling on to that truth after looking in the spirit when i cling on to that truth that is when 
I'm able to carry on. That is when I'm able to receive the strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. That's when I'm able to worship him. Hallelujah. And receive unto me the strength and the power that he's giving me to see what he needs and has for me to do while I'm still here. Because there's going to come a day, beloved. There's going to come a time where he takes me too. There's going to come a time where I go back to where I originally come from. I'm not from here. You're not from here. And there's going to come a time where you have to go back home home to where you come from so beloved in the time that you have here do do the call answer the call fulfill the purpose fulfill his good pleasing and perfect will my god hallelujah hallelujah glory be to god I thought I was going to be walking my dogs. You see what I mean? My days are Holy Spirit led. God had different plans. And oh my goodness. I just want to say, beloved, take this. Take heed to this. This part of this vlog, right? Take heed to this. This is probably, this is the most important part of this entire vlog. You can't stop the vlog from here. Forget my hair. You can stop the vlog from here. This is the important part of this vlog that you need to get. Some of you may not have experienced such a pain like this before, but you will. No one can run from this. No one can run from this pain. You will. So this is a word for you to take heed to, beloved. Take heed. If you're not experiencing that pain yet, take heed now so that when that does happen, you won't fall into depression and suicide and all these things, beloved. Take heed now. Because if I didn't change my life and transform, be transformed by the renewing of my heart and mind prior to my mom, whew, I don't know where I'd be. I'm telling you honest the truth. I would not I don't know where I would be. I was too attached to my mom. I was too like she used to say. Coolie, yeah. Oh yes, a big son. Yes, still want suck off my titty. <laughs> because I used to itch up under her like so, right? Even big, like I was just that's my baby, you know. So if I didn't transform, if my heart and my mind wasn't renewed and transformed after she, God, you know, authorized her to go back home, I don't know where. I don't even think I would be still here on this earth. And not, not by God's hands, probably by my own. And I'm just grateful. <sighs> glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful that God is so perfect. And seeing that this was going to happen and prior to it happening, he allowed me to be transformed so that when it did happen, I would not destruct, I would not self-destruct myself. So I'm telling you, this is a word for everybody. If you are going through this, you need to know that God wants to use your brokenness. God wants to use you and you have a major work to be done here on this earth while you're still here and if you haven't gone through this pain yet god is telling you take heed now get into his presence now because one day you will have to Whew. glory be to god thank you jesus i'm gonna finish my worship and then we'll come back in on this but like i said you can cut the video from here because this is what's important okay i love you guys so much i'll see you okay guys so no it's not cut yet <laughs> tricked you no but um i'm about to head to the shop and get it going i don't cry my eyes out already I'm trying to look like somebody <laughs> but let's go to the shop oh and i have one of my mom's outfits on the last time she visited me we went to the pool this was like her bathing suit because my mommy like she don't really like to be like shown too much so she wore this as her bathing suit her uh swimsuit and so i'm wearing it today man y'all i miss her so much oh my goodness but let's go to the shop and let's do the big chop bars <laughs> all right see y'all there hey guys so we're here we're here at the pink world and it's about to happen 
You see, I pinky. It's about to be gone. <laughs> but it's about to happen, y'all. So I'm just, it's bittersweet. It's really bittersweet. So much happening, today. So much happening, right? I already shared with them a whole bunch of stuff. They know. <laughs> they know. I ain't hiding nothing from them. Uh, Y'all saw me boohoo crying and all. God has been like showing out today. He's been showing. <laughs> in Pinky Life, too. You'll see a video on it from her. Don't worry. <laughs> Soon <Sure>. come. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like spiritually, it's about to be a whole bunch of stuff that I'm released from. You know what I'm saying? I'm being released from it. And I'm just ready. I may not be as, you know, as what they would call beautiful to the natural eye, like, but I don't care about that. I'm gonna be beyond beautiful in spirit. I'm just excited. Anyway, y'all stay tuned. Y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all. Ray, why you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this no more. Girl, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she made me know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm bored. Like, use ones like this on it. <laughs> uh, if it don't come out, we're going to have to... We're going to have to, like, cut down lower. Y'all, she really insisted on trying to comb something out. And I'm like, girl, just chop it all off. She's like, no, I'm going to comb it out. See? And you trying to do that with 32 dreads? No, oh, she insisted on calling it out. Yeah, let's get it. right now because I haven't washed it but we're gonna wash it first do a little color and then wash it so it can be redeemed right oh my goodness y'all I feel like so much has like came up off of me already and god is so good it's not the cool y'all used to but y'all better get jokes to wet okay we'll be back you see look at the shortcut not like knee along <laughs> yes but y'all my hair ain't that short that would have been cool if it was and my hair would have looked real big mm -hmm. no this not pink y'all give me a little sideburns too though. i've been trying you feel me yeah see it over here i know my edges kind of come out a little bit Y'all know this coolie child. Because when I started my YouTube. Actually, when I started my YouTube. I, oh, I had locks. I was just wearing. I wore that blonde wig over. So y'all know that coolie. But I still had locks. So y'all never knew natural loose hair coolie. Well, hi. How you doing? My name is Coolie. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. This is so beyond me. And it's all the more. And look, a lot of people, a lot of religious people go say, oh, God would never tell you to. That's why you got to seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because you can't say what God will and will not tell his servant to do. Because God knows the plans he has for them, not you. So. But. As a ball head now. <laughs> Thank you, I Pinky. It looks like I got pink hair from I Pinky. You know? 
It's actually looking real pink, but don't worry, it's not pink. It's red. Rojo. Oh my goodness, I'm so like, you want to do a sneak peek? Oh, uh, this color is ammonia free. What else free? Alcohol free, sulfate free, pesticide free. <laughs> so it's vegan, it's cruelty free. I'm so excited to show y'all the ending product. God is good. I pinky. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh shucks. When I like always smelly though. Watch this, y'all. This was supposed to still be black with highlights of red. Y'all, these this is me showing y'all that these products that's out here be not only lying to y'all, but it has so much chemicals in there that it could change your natural color. And if it changed your natural color, for one, her curls should be more like curly than this. It's more wavy now. So that's like permy. That's like bleach in the hair. Like and that's why I don't like people who doing bleach and perms and relaxers to their hair because you're killing your hair strands and you it's not natural anymore. It's like not but look at this y'all don't worry we about to save the day <laughs> so this is my second time under the dryer not because i'm supposed to be because we had a malfunction yes so the color that we got what was supposed to be red right because i was going for the blood of jesus type thing you know that color apparently oh also it was supposed to be bleach free ammonia free all these things apparently it was what's the opposite of free <laughs> it was bleach full okay it was all these things full and so when pinky washed my hair out listen i had pink bleachy pink like a baby pink like a powder pink hair with blonde roots it was a mess <laughs> and you know what i'm so glad that I have such an open and free spirit that I have because if I didn't, y'all, I'll be headed to that broody, so broody, 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 that beauty store, and I'll be because I talk. We talked to the girl like we was in there for a while, and we were telling her. I told her exactly what I wanted. I told her I didn't want nothing with bleach. I wasn't trying to be like very popping color. Like I wanted a tint, and that was fine. And she like literally pointed us to this specific brand and this thing and. So if I wasn't who I am, I would be there, okay? But, I mean, I'm all for trying new, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm that kind of person. I'm spontaneous like that. I like new, new. And right now, I'm, I'm going through a whole new phase, so I'm fine with it. But I really wasn't, like, fine with it. So Pinky found some red. Thank goodness. You see how God good? She found some red color that she had that she used with um, some other clients. So remember when I showed y'all, and I was like, I know it looked pink, y'all. It was really pink but you see now it looks red now it looks red now we now we got the blood of jesus happening you know what i mean look at that look at that that was red so take two be back to wash it off and see if this is really red let's see y'all wow visualizer to release in like a couple 
seconds probably. So I'm gonna show you for real, for real after this, okay? And if not, go watch Purpose. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. caught up talking to my siblings as i told you today was my mummy's heaven strong so i got caught up talking to my siblings in jamaica we've been on the phone for hours i didn't really have the time to really show you guys the ending product okay but this is this is what we got going on this is what we're working with y'all this is what we're working with y'all seen the whole process and how it didn't turn out right but no. no i still wasn't going for such a bright vibrant color but the blood of jesus speaks for itself <laughs> so this is what we have and i just want to say thank you guys for joining me alongside this journey of a new identity spiritually and physically <sighs> i can tell you that as she was cutting and as the process was going, like I told you guys earlier, I literally felt things coming off of me. It's been long overdue. This is how I feel and felt. I'm just excited for what God is doing. He's definitely bringing me out. Like he's bringing me out. Out of a shell that I once had. Or out of the cocoon that I placed myself in. That I allowed the world to place me in. You know what I'm saying? And he's bringing me out. And so... I'm coming out. Hey, I want the world to know that it should. <laughs> Y'all, I am so giggly right now, mommy. Mm, I love you so much, queen. I miss you so much. Today was such a day, and tomorrow's the next day, right? But I hope you guys love this vlog. I hope you guys like my hair, and if you don't, I don't care because I love it. God loves it. And me know some mommy love it too. When I got locked, she was like, Kuli, why you do that? Right? But that was a journey within itself and it had to happen. It was necessary, you know? Don't get it twisted. Story about my locks. It's a story, you see me? That led me to my new identity, right? So go stream the song. Go watch the visual if you did not see it yet, okay? I will link it down there below. But I, I think I, I, I smell a, a locks remix coming. Hmm. It's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. But I love you guys so much. Bless up yourself. You're done doing the tinga already. Cool baby day. Make sure you tune in into all the movies that God is doing here in this ministry. I love you guys so much. Remember, any man that is in Christ is a new creature, a new creation. Okay? Old things are gone and passed away. Behold, all things. Not some things, all things. That made me this thing. All things have become new. I love you guys. Bless up your dad. No cool baby now.